another vlog. I'm about to go get Chloe up from her nap. She's still sleeping away. She has been so tired from her birthday this last weekend. So today is Tuesday. We had her birthday party on Saturday and we had family come into town and then we had Easter the day after. So we went to church service and then out for breakfast and this girl was so tired yesterday and I think it's kind of like rolling in today as well. I mean, I literally don't blame her. I was exhausted yesterday too. I'm feeling a lot better today though. I snuck in a workout this morning. Andrew is away. He's going for just like a quick couple days work trip. So I'm going to be solo parenting for these last couple of days. I'm so glad he was here yesterday so I could get the house in order before he left. Doing lots of cleaning yesterday, but I was so tired from the party and everything. I never really host parties, so it was exhausting, but it was so much fun. I can't believe that Chloe is one. I feel like she just woke up and looks so much bigger and it's not fair. I can't believe I literally had the top now like that's insane we are about to head out to target i have a few returns to make and i guess it's supposed to be 80 degrees today it was kind of chilly this morning so i don't know i guess it's gonna like warm up this afternoon so i'm gonna bring this little light linen-y cover-up it's technically a pool cover-up from airy they sell these again this year they just have a collar on them instead of this like smaller collar throwing this on just super casual outfit today i actually also got these shorts recently from Aerie and I'm so excited to wear them because they're so comfortable. They have pockets here, really nice high waistband and I'm wearing a size medium. All of Aerie's stuff definitely runs really large. I think this shirt is also a medium. Normally I would get like a size large in this stuff, especially if I wanted an oversized fit, but they are always oversized, which I really love. And then this top is CRZ Yoga. It's a lot like the Lululemon a line top very basic just gonna throw on some sneakers want to say welcome back to another vlog we're just gonna spend a couple days in my life as a stay-at-home mom if you guys are new here my name is katie my daughter chloe like i said she just turned one we are a military family we're actually about to move soon so there's gonna be some moving vlogs in here a lot of exciting content to come up make sure you follow me on instagram and tiktok i also post on there daily i'm gonna make some lunch for chloe and then go grab her so we can get out for the day chloe's outfit of the day Today is from Target this cute little pink matching set they she has a little bit of lunch on her shirt but they have this in other colors as well so many cute bright fun summery colors what do you think Just got back from Target. We really didn't get anything fun at all. It was more like a big grocery shop. I've been loving the brands that they carry at Target. Specifically for Chloe, I love the Good & Gather Target brand for just easy food ideas for her. So I will still give you guys a haul because feeding a baby and a toddler can be difficult sometimes. I decided to try out these chicken meatballs and they also have veggies in them. The ingredients on this are all really, really good. Got some of these. Sarah Belly pouches. I've heard good things about these and got a couple flavors that Chloe might like. We got her whole milk. I'm emotional about this. I'm gonna start weaning her. I might actually get her a cup of milk now because I'm gonna put her down for a nap soon. And we're gonna see if she likes it. She loves these salmon burgers. I just like shred it up and put it with avocado and she loves it so much. These were on sale, so I had to get. She also loves the Once Upon a Farm pouches. These are in the refrigerated section, so you know that they're super fresh ingredients again are all really good. I got myself these Jimmy Dean Delight breakfast sandwiches. Since Andrew's away to just make it easier for myself in the morning, we're gonna try out some mac and cheese with Chloe. Again, the Good and Gather brand is really good and it just goes in the microwave. We got some more raspberries and I got these to put in her diaper genie because it really stinks and I heard that if you do like baking soda or something like that in it um, or throw one of these in the bottom, it'll help. If this doesn't work, I honestly might get rid of the diaper genie because it's just like really not doing anything. I got these Italian sausages for dinner tonight. These pretzel bites are for me for a snack. Black beans, Chloe loves those. Another one of those once upon a farm pouches. I got these blueberry waffles for Chloe to try. Go macro bars for me and some paint. We're gonna do a little Mother's Day craft project, maybe tomorrow. Sorry if you can barely hear me because Chloe's having fun unloading the groceries on the floor. These are some of Chloe's favorite, the Dr. Prager's sweet potato nuggets. And then I got her some Tillamook shredded cheese. Chloe's very picky about her pouches and she really loved the apple mango pouches from Trader Joe's. So I thought I would try the Good & Gather brand of that. 
spinach also for tonight's dinner. We're gonna do like a little orzo skillet situation. Diaper genie refills and I got these Sour Patch strawberries because these were a hit at our party. They were completely gone and they are so good. They're better than the watermelons. It was my first time ever having them. Then we restocked on Chloe's favorite puffs. These are the Serenity Kids ones. I wanted to try this mac and cheese brand. I've heard that it's really good and it has 14 grams of protein, seven grams of fiber, just kind of like a little bit better than your normal box mac and cheese. Then I got my orzo and some more Chick-fil-A sauce. Had to restock on that. So that was definitely a lot more food than I thought we were gonna get. I literally forgot to bring my returns. I don't know if I'm the only person that does that, but especially with Chloe, like there's so many things that I'm thinking about when we're trying to head out the door that I literally forgot my returns. So good thing Target actually does returns like through their pickups so you can stay in your car. So honestly, I was planning on going to a coffee shop tomorrow with her, so I might do that and just like do the Target returns through the car, which is so nice. Like there needs to be more stores that do that. I just love the whole like pickup thing, especially with the baby because I don't have to take her out of the car. Chloe's down for her nap. She crashed. I did not think that she was going to fall asleep that fast for her afternoon nap. Normally that does not happen lately. So she must still be very tired from the birthday party, but I'm going to read on my Kindle here. I usually just use nap times to relax when Andrew's gone because obviously I have to be on 24 seven and it's just me. So when I get these nap times, I try to use them wisely and either get lots of stuff done or completely relax so i'm gonna read here and just unwind for a little bit okay can any other moms relate to how difficult it is to have to wake your baby up from their nap it's a little after five honestly chloe should not be sleeping right now but it was really hard for me to like go in and get her i feel bad for waking her up and then also like i'm taking away from my me time but i know that the sooner i get her the sooner she can go to bed tonight which sounds terrible it's like one of those things and i see memes about this all the time about how you love your baby so much but you like really also want them to go to bed so that you can have time to yourself but then as soon as they go to bed you miss them it's just like a constant battle as a mom it's one of those things that you like aren't gonna understand until you are a mom and you're in that situation because I just want to relax more than anything. I technically could leave it for the next day, but I always feel so good whenever I wake up in the morning and everything is clean, especially the kitchen. There's nothing worse than waking up to a dirty kitchen with like lots of dishes everywhere. I always have to remind myself whenever I really don't want to clean up that I'm gonna feel so much better in the morning, but it is so difficult. I am gonna get ready for bed here. Fun fact, if you want an easy way to get your hair elastics out without like having to rip out all of your hair, just use like a hot tool and you have to hold it for not too long because otherwise you'll get plastic on your straightener like I did or melted plastic in your hair. But if you just kind of like clamp your straightener down a little bit, the elastic will just like pop off. I've also heard that using essential oils works too. It feels so good to finally get ready for bed. But I'm gonna take my makeup off here, have some ice cream, and I think I'm gonna edit my birthday vlog, which should already be up by the time you guys see this one. But I'm gonna keep editing away at that video. That one is taking up a lot of my time because there's just so much footage. There's already two hours and I haven't even uploaded everything. So I'm really trying to get that done. I want to post it by this Saturday. Today is... What is today? Tuesday, I think, but I'm gonna work on that for probably an hour. I'm probably gonna give myself like a certain amount of time because I could literally edit all night long. I 
feel so exhausted, but tomorrow's gonna be Wow, it has been such a morning this morning, and I'm trying to not let that be the tone for the day. I saw somebody posted something about like not letting moments of your day become the tone for the entire day. So if you have a bad moment like in the morning or you have a hard time getting out the door in the morning, don't let that set the tone for the rest of the day, which I'm trying not to do. I just finally got my coffee. I almost just made my coffee at home. I actually love my coffee at home more than going out to get it, but I wanted to do like a fun little outing today. It was raining this morning. I was feeling like maybe we shouldn't go out, but I'm so glad I did because the days that I don't leave the house at all are just, especially on a rainy day, the days that I don't leave the house are just not good. And when Andrew's gone, I need to get out of the house and I need to see people. So we went to Pale Horse if you're in like the Chesapeake, Virginia area and it's pretty good. I got an iced vanilla latte and I definitely need it. I am feeling so out of it this morning and tired. I did not go to bed until late last night, which I knew that was not gonna be a smart move. And then woke up this morning at nine and Chloe was still sleeping, which is crazy. So she slept in, I slept in. I'm feeling kind of groggy this morning, a rainy day. So getting out of the house was very needed. We just did our Target pickup return. Now we're gonna go into Marshalls and just kind of like see what they have for fun because I don't feel like going home just yet. Back from our outing, I just fed Chloe some lunch and put her down for a nap. So hopefully she naps for a while, but I wanna show you guys what I got at Marshalls. I found these cutie little flower clips. I thought that these were really good for short hair. Some of the ones that I have, they're just like too big and bulky. And then in one of my recent videos, I got my makeup in my hair. So I got the typical get ready with me headband. I think this will actually be really nice though when I'm trying to get ready. And then I needed another notebook. So I thought this one was so cute. I'm still obsessed with like all things strawberry. I've been looking for stuff for Chloe's birthday party for so long that my brain just like automatically goes and looks for all the strawberry things because I just think it's cute no matter what, like even if I'm not planning a strawberry themed birthday. So I thought this little notebook was adorable and I need it for all of my like social media content stuff. I think I'm gonna reheat what I made for dinner last night, which I forgot to show you guys. It ended up being really good, really easy so i'll put the recipe down below it was just this like one skillet sausage orzo and it was really good does not look that great in this container but i'm gonna heat this up and i'm going to sit on the couch probably do some editing but other than that basically do nothing while chloe is napping because i'm so tired today looks like it's still the same time but it's a lot later chloe ended up sleeping for like almost three hours oh my gosh it's four o'clock kind of early for dinner but i'm starting to make dinner because chloe's gonna start to get hungry here i am making these salmon burgers from target they are so good and chloe loves these good source of protein for her she loves it with avocado mixed in and then i'm gonna make up a little bit of rice with that spent that entire wake window facetiming my sister and then i facetime andrew but he's grabbing dinner right now and i need to desperately clean up this place pick up chloe's toys do the dishes really fast and it's 7 45 so i think i'm gonna set a timer because that just like always really helps me like put my head down and get it done i was sitting on the couch for a little bit after putting chloe to bed because i'm so tired and don't really feel like cleaning up but like i said yesterday it always makes me feel so good so <laughs> Wednesday now. Andrew's actually on his way home from Sacramento. So he's flying back right now and we're so happy, but he's not gonna be home until like late tonight, unfortunately. So just me and Chloe again today, actually longer than expected. We thought that he was gonna be home this morning. So my plan is to go to the park today, maybe grab a smoothie while we're out, just to kind of like do something fun. It's a little bit nicer outside. And I put Chloe down for a nap like about a half an hour ago. And usually her first nap is like the best nap. She 
sleeps for like way longer than she should we have to go in and wake her up and she woke up like a half hour into it and i think the lawnmower from the landscapers woke her up so frustrating and i know that we're going to deal with this type of stuff when we live in a house too but apartment living with the baby can be so hard sometimes because we have like lots of neighbors and the landscapers get like really close to our apartment and i have a sound machine in there and everything for her but because they get so close she still will occasionally wake up it looks like she might hopefully hopefully be putting herself back to sleep i was about to fix my hair i think i'm gonna use these little claw clips that i got yesterday at marshall's i'm thinking we might do like some little space buns so let me go get some scissors because these are all like on here really good and we're gonna see what we can do i'm gonna turn this into like a tiktok and reel i've been loving doing fun hairstyles on my short hair on there as well let's see what we can come up with i love using this day styling cream it smells so good and it's not crunchy at all it actually slicks it back really well and holds it and keeps your hair so soft so highly recommend it's always in my amazon storefront or i'll link it down below but i love this stuff there's so many different ways that you can use it so today i ended up having to change because i noticed i had raspberry all over my sweatshirt after feeding chloe lunch the park ended up being so busy so chloe only really got to go in the swing i didn't want her to like i was gonna have her like try and climb on some of the playground and maybe like go down a little slide but i did not want her to get run over by a bunch of kids that were there and i completely forgot that it was spring break it was so nice and sunny outside and then as soon as we got to the park oh my gosh chloe's literally gonna tip my tripod over it was so nice and sunny outside and then as soon as we got to the park there was this massive dark looking rain cloud it didn't end up actually raining but it just got like cold and really windy so we didn't stay there for that long we went to go get a smoothie and it was really fun because I shared it with Chloe and we're finally like reaching that point where like I can share some of my food with Chloe and, like when we go out to eat somewhere and it's getting more fun in that sense I'm gonna try and see if I can put Chloe down for her afternoon nap it's like about 3 30 a little bit later than I would want it to be but hopefully the landscapers this time won't come around and make a bunch of noise when she's trying to nap Chloe's down for her nap I'm like refreshing my TikTok we're almost at 10k we're at 9999 and I'm so excited we're gonna reach 10k in like the next minute or so i bet we just got an amazon package in the mail i ordered some blue light glasses chloe broke my other ones and i'm gonna edit my youtube video here so i'm gonna try these on this is oh my gosh this is like really nice wow okay it comes with like the little special screwdriver the cloth to clean the glasses i did not expect this these were not that expensive they were only like maybe 15 dollars. look at this fancy little case that it comes with i'm scared that these are going to be too small on my face shape i feel like because i have a round face i have to go with like bigger glasses and they looked bigger on the people like in the reviews okay they're really comfortable they're actually way better than the ones that i had before but do we like how they look i need to go look in the mirror i think i like them they're way more comfortable than the ones that i had before anyway like i could barely stand wearing those glasses and these are really nice and lightweight they seem like they fit really nice so i'm gonna ask andrew when he comes home if he likes them but i'm gonna work on editing the birthday vlog i'm still working away at that one we did it I officially reached 10k that is so exciting i seriously never thought that like this many people would want to follow me or like be interested in my videos that makes me so excited making mac and cheese for dinner tonight because i didn't want to order out needed something easy so we're trying these goodles that i picked up from target and i guess some people have like seen them at costco before so i thought it'd be good to try it out before i were to like buy it at costco but chloe's eating her mac and cheese and she's devouring it right now i don't blame her mac and cheese is literally the best i really love annie's mac and cheese and this looks a lot like it 
Okay, this is good. Highly recommend this stuff is amazing. Like literally tastes just like Annie's, if not even better, like it's really creamy. If I see this at Costco, I'm definitely gonna be buying. All right, you guys, I am loving these little boule glasses. They are so comfy. It's almost 8.30. I'm gonna get myself ready for bed. Andrew's flight was really delayed. He ended up leaving when he was supposed to get here. These past three days have felt long. Like I don't even remember what is in this vlog? It feels like the longest three days ever. And Andrew's been gone for like even longer than this before. It has just felt like forever these last few days for some reason. But I'm gonna end the vlog off here. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending the last couple of days with me. I will see you all in my next video.